so here I'm trying to define the size of the structure I'm going to build so I know that um, I have to make the cut in the middle of my my piece of wood that the, this is the end of the blade so this is this line this line will go there and then I need the structure to go over here because of the of the um, frame of the of the saw and then I will need some space to put a blocker so my structure will be roughly this side and here on the on the instruction uh, provided by Sipson they say that you have to cut one inch which is which is correct uh, So they say that's the bottom of the wood. So there is a small arrow here. So they say it's one inch uh, for the bolt, and then we have uh, those kind of things that go inside this. The wood will sit at the top of that. So we need one inch and then they say five inches. But five inches is to go to put the blade inside and in fact I don't have five inches. I have um four inches and five eighths and a half so um, I'm French so in France we use millimeters and everything I build I think that using millimeters is way more precise than using inches you can see that on the on the ruler here you have the size of one eighth of an inch and if you want to get into precision which sometimes you really need like here we really need to get a precision and I usually work with um, when I need to work with precision with a smaller pen and uh, I instead of uh, using a, a eighth of an inch I use millimeters because with a millimeter you can work by the quarter of the millimeter. It's easy to put a line in the middle of one millimeter and then to put another line in the quarter of the millimeter and once you get use of it you can uh, reach the precision of the quarter of millimeter and I really recommend to work with precision as much as possible especially when the structures are, are really big because uh, when you want to level, like here I have a, a huge wall to build and um, if I don't start with precision at the beginning, then um, half an, an eighth of an inch plus half an eighth plus 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 at the end it makes big mistakes and um, maybe the average people won't see it but um, I'm trying to do a good work and what I want is the eye of an expert to see that I have put a precision in my work. So I really recommend to work by the millimeters. Sometimes you don't have any other choice. So here I'm going to take those, those dimensions and what I want is not what um, uh, Simpson asked me to do because um, is there is too much imprecision in the design and this is good for one post it's not good for building a full wall using this kind of uh, hardware and it's not good for a wall where you you the wall the wall is not leveled here it is supposed to be leveled on the design so we have to adapt this recommendation to the the field as it is in reality so I'm going to um, use my ruler and here my ruler when I take old measurement it says 11 centimeters 8 
millimeters and a half and this is the kind of precision that I want.